so I'm thinking a little bit about this election that we're having here in the United States to decide our next president. And I can't help but to think that there's a paradox going on where it's an extremely boring election. Uh, it's just frankly not that interesting of an election, at least to me and I think to a lot of people. Um, but at the same time, a lot has happened in this election that should be making it not boring at all. I mean, there's been two attempts on the life of one of the candidates, Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump, who is a, an unhinged lunatic, and he should be entertaining. Um, and then on the Democrat side, they've done this like crazy thing where they replace their candidate uh, almost at the last minute, like right before their con their nominating convention. Uh, and they nominated a woman. Like we could be seeing the first woman president, which is novel at the very least. Um, so there's a lot on paper that should be making this election exciting or at the very least not boring, but it's a boring election. Like, as I said, Donald Trump, the Republican candidate, he's an unhinged lunatic. And for a decade now, he's captivated the minds of people who both love and hate him. But his shtick has gotten old. Uh, and he's just not bringing the entertainment value to the table that he once did as a politician. And on the Democrat side, yeah, she's a woman, uh, a woman of color, black, Indian, mix. Uh, but she's like a standard neoliberal, a standard party entrenched neoliberal. So she doesn't really bring any excitement to the table either. So we have two boring candidates. Uh, and you can say Trump is not the standard Republican candidate, but he's become the standard Republican candidate. So we have two standard candidates on both sides, neither of whom really are drumming up a whole lot of excitement. I mean, obviously there's people on each side who are really excited about these candidates, but the vast majority of people in this country kind of roll their eyes at both of these candidates and, and don't see much in either of them to, uh, to get excited about. And they're both running really just lackluster campaigns. Like Harris, she just basically has a bunch of canned talking points that she regurgitates constantly. Trump goes off the rails frequently, but it's like the same old thing. We've seen this from Donald Trump for going on a decade now, and it's just not as entertaining as it used to be. Uh, so, like, like I said, there's a lot on paper that should be making this like a really interesting, like, world-turning election, but it's just not. It's a boring election, and and I've kind of, uh, to to a great extent, I've tuned out. And I, like, there's so much going on in my life that doesn't deserve to be even gone over in the YouTube video that it's just like the election isn't even in the top 10 of things for me right now. Um, and like, it's just weird because I, I have to think back to like, like I'm interested in politics. I find politics, the horse race of politics and the, and the daily uh, comings and goings of the politicians I find to be somewhat interesting in general. But this election just isn't doing it for me. And I don't think I'm alone. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people are kind of just over it. They just kind of want to get to the election, see what the results are, and, and get on with our lives. Um, and it is what it is.